Okay, here we are, Gemini. I don't know why I want to keep saying Taurus, but this is Gemini reading, rising sun, moon. And I'm doing it a little differently. I pulled the cards first because I wanted to meditate on your messages a little bit. So if you don't know your rising moon and you know your sun because you're probably looking under Gemini, and that's the basic horoscope. But if you don't know your rising or your moon, you can go to astrologyzone.com. Um, if you want a private reading with me, if this is, um, you want more information than what we go here, you can reach out to me and schedule a private session um, and email me. I will leave the email in the description below. And let's get into this. So this is for the week, um, starting today until next week, next Monday. But this can resonate with you at any times. But this is the energy for Gemini. Okay, so... What really showed up for me um, through the whole reading was this beautiful card. Um, so number seven. So it's like, even if things have been going not in the order that you wanted or things weren't working out the way you wanted, now things are starting to change. You're starting to see things come in and you're starting to see changes happen. Um, sweet results await. Bees work really hard and they get... Um, they all work together as a team and they, you know, they produce a lot and then they rebuild and they're just, it's just a really interesting, um, when you follow them and follow everything they're do, they do, it's really interesting, but I like how it looks like a moon and I've never noticed that. So maybe in the time of some moon shifts, maybe it's a waning moon or a waxing moon, um, something will happen to you. So that's something to look for. Um, you also got supportive family. This is um, the card deck that has all different artists. And this is closer here. And you can read that. But you have, you know, there's a lot that you've been just kind of scattered and they want you to ground, right? And that's, that's something to do with everybody. Everybody right now is having like a grounding issue. Um, but surrendering to inner peace. This is your law of attraction. No, this is your surrendering deck. Cultivating inner peace on a daily basis in quiet, meditative moments. Focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will find your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. Um, let's see what your lucky fortune cookie is. Little dragons. Planning. Now is the time to lay down the foundations for your future. Financial gains are more than likely. It's funny because I felt like you're going to get some surprise money coming in. Maybe it's a bigger tax um, paycheck coming in or maybe just some money that shows up randomly. Um, I keep getting money from my, <laughs> my insurance. I'm like, why are they giving me money back? But I don't know. It's kind of weird. Every couple of months they throw me a check. I'm like, all right, that's really nice. Okay, um, you decide to wake up or else why did you draw me? So this, I think, is an inner meaning of, you know, like you're waking up to your own potential. You're waking up to understanding that there's more um, going on. And talks about legacy. So even if this is in your family, like raising a family, having children, having like amazing children that just do good in the world and are good people, I think that's really important. You got for the Archangel, you got Divine Order, Archangel Raguel. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. So I feel like everything's just kind of up in the air. You do have a watch out, Smoky Quartz, it talks about security, but Smoky Quartz to me is that other people are putting too much energy on you and you need to protect yourself. So just pay attention to that. Um, money is not the root of evil or the happiness of it. So this is talking about even if you get a ton of money, if you get this surprise money, you're going to be buying more stuff and maybe doing some more stuff, but the, your inner guidance and your inner spirit and peacefulness inside of you doesn't have anything to do with money. That has to be something you do on your own. Um, and surrendering to inner peace is like, you might even feel like the quiet is boring or the quiet about you, there's something wrong if it's too quiet, it needs to be more active. And they want you to just take a step back and really look at 
you know, the, the major things in your life that really mean things to you. This looks like she's reflecting her face in the water. This is a love card. Emotions are a natural and necess necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So again, just letting go of things that are heavy for you. Letting go of, um, in your re other relationship cards, you got karmic relationship, um, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentfulness, resentful, resentment, I don't know what's on there, lessons, letting go, and loving you. So it's the, you know, it's that whole idea of the poison that you take that's really, you're, you're wishing someone badly or you're mad at somebody and it's really the poison for you. Talking, um, interesting conversations, messages arriving, um, text calls, emails. So you might be getting some calls from somebody from the past. Um, then you got coffin, which is endings, beginnings, um, endings, bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. I really feel like a lot of this is about you. Um, just uh, so divine order is all about just surrendering to, you know, someone, some, there's a bigger plan for you than what you can, you can say. So maybe you're like, oh, I'm going to make this much in 10 years or whatever. And then the universe is trying to give you more, but you just have that number in your head. So leave some space for the divine to come in and help you. Um, it's, it feels like you're really right on track. You just are in your space too much because you may not be seeing tangible things yet, but they're coming. You just have to Stay in that inner peace state. So do whatever, um, if it is being around your family, um, you know, watch how you respond to people reaching out because sometimes it's a test from the universe if you've learned your lesson. So not everyone that reaches out is someone you might need in your life. So just pay attention to that. And you can, especially with a karmic relationship, so it's somebody who might trigger you. Um, and it's okay to still love someone and not have them in your life. Um, I think that was a hard one for me because it's like, well, I want to help them. I want to help them be a better person. And there's not enough life left, like in everybody. You need to be working on yourself and then everybody else will either be inspired by your growth or they won't be part of your life. This is um, the secret messages. It's time for me to heal now. So whoever you're thinking about, this is their messages. It's time for me to heal now. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Finding out the truth crushed me, and I feel you leaving me behind. So it may have been you were in some kind of relationship or a friendship where you were on different growth paths, and this happens. I was just talking about this today because it's sad, and you know, I'm a Cancer son, so I don't want to have any relationships. And well, you know, I'm really weird. Like I want to stay friends with ex-boyfriends or whatever. And you know, sometimes it's just you're on very different paths and that time together has expired. And now it's time for you two to go on your, go on your journey, just not together. So even that happens with friendships. So it's, you know, it can be really sad, but just trust that things are happening because you're, you're just having different interests and they're having different interests and you just have different goals in life. And that's, and that's okay. You know, um, and if you're meant to wrap back into each other and, um, connect again you will so it's not a big deal um, but there's a lot of great I mean you're you're starting this you're waking up to your own legacy you're waking up to the idea that everything doesn't have to be moving so fast you can be in this blissful state of like inner peace and meditation and still be doing the work because you're raising your vibration and really understanding that law of attraction um, and understanding you have to make yourself happy in those ways not waiting for this money to come in because you do have some money coming in but it's not the root of happiness or evil so everything you do is rooted within you it has nothing to do with outside forces you change even cognitive learning the things that we've learned that were not healthy for us growing up that's on you now to change it so just remember that pay attention and um, see where this leads you but this seems like a good month for you gemini um if I called you Taurus at all during this, I'm sorry, a Taurus keeps coming up. I don't know what the deal is. But have a great day, and I hope um, everything goes well for you. If you want a session, email me. And if you want your natal chart, um, I love um, cafeastrology.com. You get a free chart. It's pretty big. I don't have any association with them. I just like them, but um, that's a good place to look. Okay, bye. Have a great day.